of it is from CVS, some of it is from thrift shops that I go to. And I'm starting to upload now twice a week versus once a week. When I first got to YouTube, I was a complete newbie. I knew nothing, novice, nada. Didn't even know how to make a cut in a video clip. And I'm starting to get a little more adept at it. And if you'd like to continue to get my content, um, please subscribe and hit that red button down below it's a win it and um you'll be subscribed to my channel i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that would be great it would really help my channel out a lot if you could do that so we'll get right into the haul um i am a couponer i've been couponing for over 30 years now um i was well into couponing before the show extreme couponers came out um i'm not an extreme couponer though um, but last Saturday night I was sitting at home and I realized that a $10 extra care buck for CVS that I had in my wallet was going to expire that night at midnight. And I was like Cinderella trying to get to the ball. I was like, oh no, we can't have that. That's not going to waste. So I needed um, some makeup remover wipes, like uh, um, wipes to clean off my makeup brushes with. And I also needed some eye cream because I'm pretty, I'm using like a sample now and then I'm going to be out. So what I do when I go couponing, like I went there totally unprepared. I look and see what's on sale. So Olay Eyes is usually $35. It was marked down to $24, maybe $24.99. I had gotten a coupon out of the machine that is called the Redbox machine for a couple of dollars off. And I also had gotten a skincare um, coupon for another $4 off. So you combine those, like you just use what you have and combine the discounts together and I wound up getting this for a fairly decent price for $35 I think I came out of there with getting it for five, maybe about $17 um, for a really good eye cream not bad so I usually can do better than that couponing but because I was kind of you know <laughs> under the gun with no planning <laughs> that's where it got me I also picked up a three pack of baby wipes. I use these to clean up my makeup area. Um, I use these to um, clean up my makeup products after I get finished using them before I put them away. Keeps them from getting contaminated um, and it keeps them nice and clean. Um, so this was a three pack. I believe this was um, also on sale for $6.50. And CVS has an app and in that app I had $1.50 off any baby wipe purchase. So I wound up getting three of these for $5. Not a bad price. I can do better, but for getting things that I actually need with no preparation, I thought I did pretty well. So now we'll go on to the thrift shop haul. Um, I go to a local Goodwill that on Sundays because they have a tag day. It's a dollar day on Sunday. It is a little crowded on Sundays, but it was it's fun. Um, to find some treasures there. So this I picked up. This is a... I believe this is corning glass, but let me double check. No, this is Pyrex. I use this type of bowl to make oatmeal in. Um, I make um, old fashioned oats in the microwave every morning. And you need a high bowl because otherwise it will spill out of a regular size bowl. And it seemed like I never had a clean one whenever I want to make my oatmeal. So I got another one there and this was $3.99. Um, not a dollar day item, but I did need it for around the house. I'm very happy with it. So I'll run this through the dishwasher, clean it, and put it in my cupboard. I got this little tray. This was one of their dollar day items. It's a little worn. It has sunflowers on it. Um, my daughter Amanda loves sunflowers. and I didn't get it for her this time. I got it for me because I thought I could put it out in the fall with um, maybe some candles on it and um, some pumpkins and things like that in it. And I like to corral things in a setting, so I bought it for that. And I got a sweater. The sweater was a dollar. I didn't like the sweater at first. I thought it was a little grandma looking, but um, they actually have dressing rooms in Goodwill, and I tried it on, and this actually looks very nice. It actually has a very youthful vibe to it, in fact, if anything. So it always, I always try clothes on. I never go by what's on the hanger or what the brand is. You got to try it on. Sometimes the ugliest thing on the hanger can be the most beautiful on you because you can carry it off. So this is by the brand um a new day 
Um, this is an XL and it was a dollar. I just saw a pair of shoes in Goodwill from this, not in Goodwill, another thrift store from this brand. They were really cute, but they weren't my size. So I'm really liking this brand. So I also got from the Goodwill, these were 50 cents. These are some Halloween napkins, but I love the print on them. I think they're vintage um, because first of all, they're made in the USA and they're made by American Greetings and it says that they're $1.19 and that doesn't sound like any of the pricing for American Greetings paper products anytime recently. Um, I'll have to do some research, but I just really like the print on it and I love the little cute little owl. He's just so cute. So I picked them up for 50 cents. All right, so now I'm gonna go on to my other thrift haul. This is from a thrift store called Red, White, and Blue that is probably my favorite thrift store. And it was the store that I first started thrifting at about a year ago. Got some of these little trees. Um, these they sell at the dollar store. And I really thought that this item was half price. So I was gonna get it for 50 cents, but it wasn't half price. The miscellaneous was not half price that day. So, oh well, that's fine. I can take one for the team for that. I do love bottle brush trees. So that was a good find for me. Um, oh, there was something I forgot to put in my Goodwill haul. This was from also from Goodwill. This was 99 cents. This is made by Hallmark. It's called the Tree Trimmer Collection. And it is a little toy soldier with a thimble on top of his head. And my daughter is a quilter and I really thought that she might like this. So I'm going to um, wrap this up and put this in my little gift box that I have um, for gifts that I save up throughout the year. And this will make a nice present topper for her next year or maybe I'll just give it to her as is. But I thought she'd really like it because of the thimble hat. So I picked it up for her. Um, so we're back to the red, white, and blue. This is... 99 cents. This is a Yankee candle alumina lid. It's just the lid that goes on top of your jar candles and I, I just liked it. I like Yankee candle products and for a dollar I picked it up. I picked up this birdhouse. This was a dollar 99. It says welcome to the porch. I love birdhouses. My goddaughter Katie, she made us a beautiful birdhouse out of stones and river rocks and um, she sided it and put shingles on the roof and I just treasure it and I'm going to put this out there with that other birdhouse and some other tchotchkes that I keep on the uh, doorstep so I just, I liked it. So it just says welcome to the porch and this was $1.99. This I picked up for my daughter, this is a scarf. I'm going to wash this up and maybe give this to her um, in one of her birthday presents or something. And this is a sunflower scarf. She has beautiful hazel eyes and golden blonde hair and these colors look really, really good on her and I think she'll really like it. I picked up this shirt. This is by the brand JM Collection. It's an XL. It was $2.99. And I just really like the colors in it. These colors are becoming on my complexion, pinks, whites, blues. And it looked nice. I like the facing, the way that the facing was made. Um, so I picked this one up and I will put that in the wash and start wearing that one. I am also love cats, so I picked this up. I decided to go to the men's section because I've been watching a lot of YouTubers who do vintage um, and thrift shop hauls, and they all go to the men's section, so I thought, well, let me go. And I found this one. This is a cat. He's going to Las Vegas, and it says, Las Vegas, follow me to Las Vegas, and that makes me an old cat lady, so be it. I'm rocking this shirt. Probably not outside the house. I'll probably <laughs> wear it as a nightshirt um, with a pair of um, leggings. But I loved it, so I picked it up. And I have one more item for you. This is a jacket. I've been needing some warm clothes. I've been I lost some weight, and um, a lot of my clothes are getting too big on me now. Um, so I'm officially out of the plus size department if I want to be. I'm in an extra large in the regular ladies department and it's been making finding clothes a lot easier and I really don't have a lot of warm clothes and I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on them because I don't know how long I'm going to be wearing them. I've been, you know, I, I don't get weighed. I could just tell by how my clothes are feeling and it has been an effort um, and through the grace of God um, I've been relieved of some weight 
and I got this J. Jill jacket. This was this was about seven dollars and fifty cents because it was on sale, and it's a dark green um, corduroy jacket, and it looked very nice on. Again, I like the facing. It's got like the fleece lining facing and it's got some pockets and I really enjoyed it so I can't wait to wear this. So I think that is the end of my haul and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and you'll get my content delivered to you twice a week and um, it would really help my channel out a lot if you subs could subscribe and maybe share this with somebody who you think might like it. And remember that I love you and that there is a powerful force out there in the universe that loves you too. And if I have gotten that message across today, my job is done. All right, so you take care. Have a beautiful rest of the day.